what I'm going to admonish you to do today is when you are learning songs, learn the bridge. If you learn the bridge of the song, you stay the life of the party and it doesn't die. Hey guys, Brad from simpleguitar.com here and thanks for tuning in to today's video. If this is your first time coming to the channel for simpleguitar.com, then thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified every week when I upload new videos. And when you subscribe, leave a comment down below the video and say, I subscribed and I will get down there and thank you in the comments. Now, what we're doing today is we're talking about one of the things that I think is so crucial as a guitar player being the life of the party. Most people start playing guitar so that they can impress other people. And that's okay. It's perfectly normal for that. We have to be able to admit that though. We have to be able to go, I want people to like me because of my guitar playing. And so today we're gonna talk about one of the things that will quickly kill that for a lot of people. Because as guitar players, we start to learn a lot of songs and have fun learning songs. And we need to make sure that we don't stop learning songs. And here's what I mean by that. Most guitar players, when they are learning a song, now, a lot of times in the beginning, you'll learn a bunch of riffs, right? You'll start playing a bunch of different riffs, which are usually the intros to songs. So you'll, you know, you'll... And you'll play a bunch of stuff like that, or, you know... and you'll start playing cool riffs like that. And that's awesome because when you do that, you usually will play those for people and people will be like, whoa, that's so cool, you're so good, right? And that, as a guitar player, makes you feel awesome inside, right? Now this is good, this is a great thing. One thing I want you to keep in mind though, is as you improve, as you're learning more songs and doing stuff, I want you to make sure that you're learning the whole song, okay? So what I mean by this is when you move beyond just playing these riffs and stuff, when I was in high school and, and when I was still single and everything, a lot of times I would get invited to parties or get togethers and immediately got asked if I was bringing my guitar because people would want me to bring the guitar, we'd play songs, everybody would sing and have fun and it was awesome. A lot of great memories doing stuff like that. And every once in a while, what would happen is I would be playing a song and I'd play the intro and I'd play the verse and I'd play the chorus. Now, if those words are new to you, those are different sections of songs. Usually a song is made up of different sections that have different melodies and different lyrics. So usually a song will have a verse and it'll, it'll repeat a verse section with different lyrics throughout the song. And then the biggest, most important part of the song is the chorus. And this is the part that everybody sings along to and everybody remembers it's the most memorable. It's the most important part of the song. But that's not all that there is to songs. It's not just verse and chorus and you repeat those two sections. Most songs, especially with popular music today, will have a section that we call the bridge. And my problem, would be I would start learning songs and I'd get through the verse and I'd get through the chorus and I could play the second verse and I could play the second chorus and we would get to the bridge section of the song and I never learned that part. <laughs> and it's not just me. I've seen this happen with lots of students throughout the years. And so what I'm going to admonish you to do today is when you are learning songs, learn the bridge. If you learn the bridge of the song, you stay the life of the party and it doesn't die. Knowing how to play the bridge of the song will keep the party going. What would happen to me is we'd be playing through the song, we'd get to the bridge and I'd, it would fizzle away because everybody would be excited and going and be like, yeah! And then we get to the bridge and I'm like, I don't know this part, so we're done with that song. <laughs> and that would be it. Or we try to skip to the next, to the final chorus or something like that. And it just didn't have the same energy. It wasn't the same as playing the whole song. So it's important that you learn the verse of the song, that you learn the chorus of the song, but please do not stop there. Don't do what I did. 
make sure that you go learn the bridge of the song so that when you're playing for people, they will be totally floored that you can play the whole song without stopping. And that will keep you looking like an amazing guitar player who knows how to play really well because you can keep the emotion of the party going and high and everybody happy and having a good time because you don't have to stop songs because you didn't learn the whole song. Today's tip is really short and it's really simple, but it's so very important that when you are learning songs, you learn how to play the whole song and you play it front to back. You practice it with the song and you make sure that you know all of it because there will come a time when you're playing at a party and everybody's into what you're playing and you don't want to kill the party because you don't know the whole song. I know it's simple, guys, but really it's important. So somebody has to say it. Make sure when you're learning songs, you learn the verse, you learn the chorus, and you learn the bridge so that when you play for people, when you play at parties, when you get together with your friends and you're having a good time, you can keep that good time going the whole way without killing the mood. Starting the song and playing through the song and then getting to the bridge and not knowing it is the number one mood killer of parties. So don't let that be you. Make sure that when you get to the bridge of a song, you know the bridge and you can keep the party going. And that will help you be the life of the party, which is awesome because it feels good inside to feel important and to feel like people like you because you're a good guitar player. And it's awesome. So don't be the mood killer of the party because you can't play the full song. When you learn a song, learn the full song. Thanks for watching today, guys. I know today is short, it's sweet, it's simple, but trust me, it is so very important that you do this. And so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every week when these new videos come out. And also, don't forget to go to the website, simpleguitar.com slash top 10, and there you can pick up my free guide called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. And it's totally free. Just go there, put in your email, download the guide for free. I hope that that helps you because my whole job is to help make guitar simple for you to learn. And I want you to have an easier time learning than I did. And so go to the website, download your free guide, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave a comment on the video here after you subscribe, say, hey, I subscribed. And also, if you have any funny stories like I do about going to parties and not knowing the bridges, leave a comment with that too. That'd be awesome. I'd love to hear those stories. But that's it today, guys. Short, sweet, simple. And so I will see you in the next video.